Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Chinese ebook before it's gone. Most people who learn a foreign language learn it so that they can one day have real life conversations with native speakers. When you start out learning and crack open your first textbook or listen to your first podcast, having a real conversation can feel like a fantasy. When everything about a language feels new, it can be overwhelming. But this couldn't be further from the truth. While it does take a significant amount of time and effort to become fluent, having a conversation might not be as far off as you think. In this video, we'll look at three ways you can boost your conversational skills and start talking to native speakers. Number one, find native speakers and practice with them. It's unlikely you live near a big group of native speakers to practice with. If you happen to be in a major or international city, your chances may be better. Check and see if your city has a general language exchange. Chances are there could be a native speaker there who is also trying to learn another language. Practicing in person with a native speaker is probably the most interesting option for honing your speaking skills. But if you can't find anyone where you live, the next best option is to look online. Luckily for language learners, the past 10 years or so have seen an explosion in online language exchange sites. On these websites, you can search for someone who is a native speaker of your target language and is also learning your native language. The idea behind a language exchange is that you communicate with them via video or text chat, and half of the time, they help you practice your target language, and for the other half, you help them practice theirs. Practicing via an online language exchange is a highly effective way to practice your conversational skills. Number two, work on pronunciation. Pronunciation is often an overlooked skill when it comes to learning a foreign language. Most people think of a good foreign accent as a luxury rather than a necessity. But what most people don't talk about is how having a good accent boosts your listening and comprehension skills. If you can hear a sound from a foreign language and know how to make it yourself, then you're more likely to understand native speakers when they talk at normal speed, and you're also more likely to remember any new words or phrases you come across. Having a good accent means that the language no longer sounds foreign. Instead, it sounds familiar, maybe even natural. So how do you go about perfecting your accent? The best way is to break down the language into its individual sounds. Make note of any sounds that are the same or similar to your native language and of those that are different. Of the sounds that are different, spend your time practicing the ones that you find the hardest to say correctly. After you're comfortable with the individual sounds, you can start linking together words and phrases. This is where accent practice starts to get really fun and interesting. Get your hands on some native speaker audio from a TV show, song, or podcast. Play the audio back and listen closely a few times. Take note of how words blend together in speech. Then, do your best to imitate what you hear, trying to match the speaker's emphasis and intonation. Our language learning program's playback feature is perfect for this. Record yourself and compare it to the original recording. Rinse and repeat until you're comfortable with the audio selection, and then move on to something more difficult. This is how you can break through the accent barrier and really start to make the language your own. Number three, learn phrases, not just individual words. Learning grammar and individual words is great, but it's not the only approach you should take if you want to speak fluently. In addition to your regular grammar and vocabulary, try learning whole phrases, even if you aren't totally sure how they work grammatically. Learn phrases that are specific to your needs. It's a good idea to learn phrases that are grouped around a certain setting or subject, such as simple greetings or introductions, questions for getting to know someone, or traveling comfortably. You can even learn filler phrases, which you can use so that you have something to say when, well, you don't know what to say. Learning phrases like this will help you become conversational faster. You may not understand what you're saying literally, but as long as you know the general meaning behind the phrase and know when to use it, you'll be able to talk like a native. Eventually, your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary should catch up with the phrases you know. Learning a new language should feel like an adventure. There will be plateaus and periods in your learning where it feels like you're hitting a wall, but being able to speak with native speakers and have real conversations will help you combat language fatigue. After all, talking to someone face-to-face -face in a foreign language is one of the main reasons we start learning in the first place. 
And for even more ways to gain conversation skills, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay, one more time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chinese Weekly Words with Inru. And this week, we're going to talk about continents. Continents this week. All right. The continent we're having now is Ya Zhou. Ya Zhou is Asia. Ya Zhou, I can say, Japan, China, Hungary, all in Ya Zhou. What I said was Japan, China, Korea are all in Asia. Ya Zhou. Uh, next we have Bei Mei. Bei Mei is North America. Canada is Bei Mei Zhou. Canada is in the north of North America. Next one is South America. I have never been to South America. Okay, the next one is Europe. Europe is Europe. Europe, um, Europe. Europe has many countries. There are many, many countries in Europe. Europe. The next one is Africa. Africa. Africa, um, Africa. People in Africa are very passionate. They're always happy. They're always dancing, <laughs> singing. So, Africa. Okay, that's all for continents. We talked about different continents today. Hello, 大家好 Hi, everyone. Welcome to Chinese Weekly Words. I'm Inru, and this week we have major Chinese cities, and the first one is Shanghai. Shanghai, you know, it's Shanghai. Shanghai is a very Shanghai is a very international city. And next one we have Nanjing. This one is interesting because compared to Beijing, Bei means north capital, literally, and Nanjing is south capital. Because once in history, Nanjing was once the、uh, capital of China too. Nanjing is a very historical city. Nanjing is a city with a long history. Next one is Harbin. Harbin is a city in the very north. It's in the north of China, so it's very cold in winter. You go to Harbin's Bing Xue Jie? Have you ever been to the snow festival in Harbin? It's cold. I've never been that cold, you know, because <laughs> I grew up in the south part of China. Next one is Chengdu. Chengdu is the capital city of Sichuan. Chengdu, 有大熊猫基地 There is a、um, panda base. It's a base for、um, for raising pandas. Yeah. So Chengdu is also famous for pandas. 大连，大连，大连是一个海滨城市。大连 is a it's a city that's next to the ocean. It's a seaside city, probably. And that's the end. So we have、uh, many major cities in China today, and I hope you remember all of them and you get to visit them someday. And、uh, that's all. And I see you next week. Bye bye. 下周见 Hi, 大家好 Welcome to Chinese Weekly Words with Inru. And、uh, very glad to see you here again. This week we're going to talk about crossing borders. Crossing borders. Hmm. The first one, ah,、uh, 入境卡卡 card, and it's an entry card. 请填写入境卡 Please fill in your entry card. Next one is 国籍国籍 is nationality. 我的国籍是中国 My nationality is China. Okay. Next one is 护照
护照 is passport. 请保管好你的护照。Um, please take care for your passport, not to lose it. 护照。Now we have 海关。海关 is customs. 入境的时候要过海关。Ah,、uh, when you enter a country, you need to go through customs. Okay, 下面是签证。签证 means visa. 我的签证已经准备好了。I have my visa ready. All right, so that's it. We talked about、uh, crossing border, crossing a border today. And hope you like this video. And I will be here with you next week on Chinese Weekly Words. 再见 Hi, our friends on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to Chinese Weekly Words. I'm Inru. This week we're going to have we're going to talk about tourism, 旅游 Okay. First, we have 寺院寺院 means temple. Ah,、uh, 这个寺院特别安静 This temple is really quiet or Peaceful. 下一个是旅游巴士，巴士 bus. So, 旅游巴士 is a tour bus. 旅游巴士在旅游的时候很方便 Tour buses are convenient when you're touring. <laughs> 嗯，下一个是游客，游客 is tourist. 今年这里的游客特别多。There are many many tourists here this year. 游客。下一个是行程。行程 is an itinerary or your tour schedule. 行程，嗯，希望我们的行程不是很紧张。Hope our itinerary or hope our schedule is not so full. Yeah, then it's no fun. 旅游，旅游 means to tour or <laughs> wait, wait, wait for me. 旅游，旅游 means to tour or to travel. Chinese sentence: 我和我的父母到海南岛旅游 My parents and I travel to 海南岛海南岛 is a island. In South China, it's a very famous tourist place. That's all for tourism. We talked about tourism words today, and hope you like this video. I will be here with you next week on Chinese Weekly Words. 下周见，再见。Hello, 大家好，欢迎来到 Chinese Weekly Words. Welcome back. This week we're going to talk about currency exchange, 兑换 It means to convert. Well, it only used in um when you talk about money. 我想把人民币兑换成美元 I just said I want to convert the RMB or 人民币 which is the Chinese money, Chinese yuan, change them into American dollars. Next one is 外汇 Why means foreign, like 外国人 foreigner. 外汇 means foreign exchange. So this is a sentence when you use when you go into a bank and you ask a staff, 这里可以办理外汇业务吗 Do you have or do you do foreign exchange here? 现金 is like you can count it is cash. Chinese count it like there are different ways. I think people some people do that. Some people just like fan fan it out. Do you say that? I wish I had money in my hand to show you. This <laughs> store can only use cash, but not credit card. In this store, you can only use cash. You cannot use your card. Credit card means、um, to swipe your card. Next one is currency. Currency means currency. This kind of currency is very expensive. This kind of currency is worth a lot of money. Or is very valuable, 很值钱。值钱 can mean a valuable. So 这种货币很值钱。Hmm. Next one, 美元，美，美国 ，America. 美元 U.S. dollar. 这家机场的商店里可以用美元。The stores in this airport accept U.S. dollars. 
I hope you like this video and this will be our last episode for now. Well, I guess I will see you <laughs> down the road. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed and uh, learned something from this series, Chinese Weekly Words. All right, everyone. 我们下次再见吧! 你好! Hello! 你好! The most common way. First time. 你好! 你好! 请多多关照! The more casual way to say 你好 is Hi! And just like this, you meet your friends, you can say Hey! 去哪儿啊? 对不起! Sorry! Oh! Sorry! Could you tell me where is the toilet? Oh, 对不起, 请问一下厕所在哪里? 谢谢! Thank you! You like my video? Ah, 谢谢! 早安! Good morning! Mm, mm, 早安! 早上好! 早! 晚安! Good night! Mm, 晚安! Good night! 太好了! Great! We will go into Hawaii for this holiday! Yeah! 太好了! Great! 哪有? That's not true! Yu Ting, you are so beautiful! <laughs> 哪有? 哪有? I'm flattered! Mm, but in my heart, <laughs> you are right, I'm beautiful! <laughs> 加油! Go for it! When your friends raising for a competition, you can say 加油! 加油! Go for it! Go for it! Go! 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 放心! Don't worry! Um, routine. Today there is nobody can cook for our dinner. Don't worry! I've got it! 放心吧! 包在我身上! <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know how to cook. 干嘛呢? What's up? Hey, 老王,干嘛呢? 一会儿去喝茶呀? 嗯? What's up? You, you say you want to drink a tea with me? 嗯? OK! 好吃! Delicious! My favorite food, baking duck! Do you like baking 烤鸭? <laughs> baking duck! 哈哈。好吃! Yay, yummy, delicious. 随便你, up to you. 今晚我请客, 随便你吃什么? I will treat you dinner, uh, what you eat is up to you. Yeah. 放弃, give up. <sighs> Please, don't give up your dream forever. 请千万不要放弃你的梦想. Yeah, you can do it. 好的, OK. Actually, in my generation, all the friends will say OK instead of 好的. So you can just use OK. But like this. Could you come here, please? 好的. OK. Could you please help me pass this water? 好的. OK. 没什么. Not much. And also for this, for this, and you can also use 没事的. It's like, oh, thank you so much for your help. 没事的, it doesn't matter, it's not that much. And also, like this, Oh, so sorry, I'm late again. Ah, 没事的, it's not that much. 我们走吧, let's go! When you sit on the restaurant and you, and you just finish it, and you can say, say that to your friends, 我们走吧, let's go! 怎么样, how about it? Ah, it's beautiful. 怎么样, 你喜欢吗? How about it? You like it? 我想, I want. Oh, my watch is broken. I want to buy a new one. 我想买一块新表。没完没了, there is no end to this. I'm my mother now. 哎呀! You must study hard, and then you can go to the good college. Then you can marry a good man. Then you can have a beautiful baby. Then your baby can go to the good college, and your baby can have a, a good marriage, and your baby can have a good career. 
，我妈妈说起来没完没了。我的妈呀 ！Oh my god! For my generation, the most common way is to say "Oh my god." Hmm. Is that say? I will try it. 我的妈呀！好辣呀！哎 ，Oh my god, it's so spicy! Ambulance, 救护车。好有趣 ，It's so interesting. 嗯哼，啊 ，It's so interesting. 好有趣 ，Come here, come here. 肚子饿了 ，I'm hungry. 哦、oh, ，怎么还不下课呀？肚子饿了。I'm so hungry. 好撑 I'm so stuffed. 啊、uh, I'm so stuffed. 好撑呀吃太多了啊、uh, Just kidding. 嘿嘿嘿我喜欢 I like it. 哦、oh, 我喜欢一醒来有你在身旁 Oh this sounds is so romantic. 再见 Bye Goodbye. But most carefully to say is 回见，回见了您嘞。Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kate. Today we are going to learn a very easy Chinese recipe: 鸡蛋炒饭。鸡蛋炒饭 egg fried rice. 鸡蛋炒饭 egg fried rice is very popular in China. 鸡蛋炒饭在中国很受欢迎。鸡蛋炒饭在中国很受欢迎。鸡蛋炒饭，鸡蛋炒饭 means egg fried rice， 受欢迎，受欢迎 means popular， popular。中国，中国 means China， so 鸡蛋炒饭在中国很受欢迎。鸡蛋炒饭在中国很受欢迎。And it's very easy to cook， 并且做起来很简单。并且做起来很简单，并且 means and and， 简单，简单 means easy easy and 做做 in here means 做饭做饭 cook cook， 并且做起来很简单，并且做起来很简单。All right, now please go to my kitchen with me. All right, first step we need to prepare two eggs and stir them. 第一步，我们需要准备两个鸡蛋，并且搅拌均匀。第一步，我们需要准备两个鸡蛋，并且搅拌均匀。鸡蛋 means eggs, eggs， 两个，两个 means two, two, two eggs， 两个鸡蛋。搅拌均匀，搅拌均匀 means stir, stir。准备两个鸡蛋，并且搅拌均匀。And of course, we need to prepare a bowl of rice. 我们需要准备一碗米饭。我们需要准备一碗米饭。一碗米饭 means a bowl of rice. A bowl of rice. 一碗 a bowl of a bowl of 一碗米饭米饭 means rice rice. 准备一碗米饭。And you can also prepare some hams. And you can also prepare some hams. 你也可以准备一些火腿，你也可以准备一些火腿，你也可以准备。你 means you， 也 means also also。准备 means prepare prepare。火腿火腿 means hams hams。你也可以准备一些火腿。All right, now we need to add some oil and heat the pan。现在我们需要加入一些油，并且把锅加热。现在我们需要加入一些油，并且把锅加热。加入 means add add， 油 means oil oil。我们需要加入一些油，我们需要加入一些油。We need to add some oil， 并且并且 means and and， 把锅加热，把锅加热 means heat the pan heat the pan。锅 means pan pan， 加热加热 means heat。And then add the eggs and stir fry. 然后加入鸡蛋翻炒。然后加入鸡蛋翻炒。鸡蛋 means eggs, eggs. 翻炒，翻炒 means stir fry, stir fry.
Now take out the eggs and stir fry the rice and hams. 现在把鸡蛋拿出来，翻炒米饭和火腿。现在把鸡蛋拿出来，翻炒米饭和火腿。拿出来，拿出来 means take out, take out. 把鸡蛋拿出来，把鸡蛋拿出来 ，take out the eggs. Now it's time to add the fried eggs and stir fry them together. 现在把鸡蛋加进去，一起翻炒。现在把鸡蛋加进去，一起翻炒。一起，一起 means together, together. 一起 ，together. 一起翻炒 ，stir fry them together. 一起翻炒 ，stir fry them together. All right, last step: add some salt, and it's done. 最后一步，加入一些盐就完成了。最后一步，加入一些盐就完成了。盐，盐 means salt. Salt. 完成，完成 means it's done. It's done. It's finished. It's finished. 完成。Now I'm going to enjoy my egg fried rice. 现在我要去吃我的鸡蛋炒饭了。现在我要去吃我的鸡蛋炒饭了。It's today's Chinese class. I hope you guys like Chinese food. And if you have any other Chinese food you want to learn, please leave a comment. Let me know. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kate. What we will do today? We are going to eat hot pot. 今天我们要去吃火锅。So what is hot pot? 什么是火锅呢？火锅是以水或汤捣热锅来涮煮食物的烹调方式。火锅要边煮边吃。由于锅本身是具有保温效果的，所以吃的时候食物始终是热的。中国的火锅有很多不同的口味。今天我们要吃的是重庆火锅。重庆火锅最大的特点就是麻辣。一起走吧。店之后，我们会拿到这样一份菜单，我们可以选择自己喜欢的蔬菜和肉类。
甜品跟汤圆。吃火锅之前，我们需要制作一份蘸料。一般来说，我会用香油、盐和蒜来制作蘸料。为了更方便的煮食物，我们加了一个这样的格子。这个是牛肉，我们只需要把它煮大约一分钟就可以吃了。一定不要忘记使用你的蘸料哦。这个是毛肚，用筷子夹住，煮十秒就可以啦。这是藕，大约要煮三分钟。这是土豆，煮两分钟即可。这是耗儿鱼，最少要煮十分钟。这个是鸭肠，用筷子夹住，煮十秒。下雨天吃火锅实在是太棒了。好了，现在我要回家了。有很多外国人第一次吃火锅都不敢尝试像毛肚和鸭肠这样的食材。但是我强烈建议大家都试一试，因为真的是太美味了。After hot pot, let's learn some important phrases. 吃完火锅之后，让我们一起来学习几个非常重要的表达吧。All right, follow me. 火锅，火锅 ，hot pot. 菜单，菜单 ，menu. 蘸料。蘸料 ，dipping sauce， 麻辣，麻辣 ，spicy and hot。如果让我用一个词形容重庆火锅，我会说完美。如果让我用一个词形容重庆火锅，我会说完美。If I have to use one word to describe Chongqing's hot pot, it will be perfect. All right, it is today's Chinese class. If you want to know more about Chinese food, please leave a comment. Let me know. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kate. Today I will show you top ten Chinese snacks. Let's just get started. Oh, all right. The first one, 大白兔奶糖大白兔奶糖 
White Rabbit Creamy Candy. Let's try it. Okay, so this one, Da Bai Tu Nai Tang. Okay, I really like it. It's very, very sweet. Very chang de tian. <laughs> Almost all Chinese children like Da Bai Tu Nai Tang. If you don't believe, just try it. Second one, Mei Hao Shi Guang Hai Tai. Sweet Hour Seaweed. Now let me try. Alright, so it's just like this. Hmm. Not bad. It's just normal seaweed. Next one, very special. La Tiao. Spicy gluten. La Tiao. Now I will try this. It's my favorite. Dun dun. <laughs> All right, so it's very, very spicy, but I pretty like spicy food. So yes, La Tiao is my favorite. Now I will try. It's very special. I don't know whether you can buy La Tiao in your country, but it's very popular in China. Alright, next one. Xiaomi Guo Ba. Xiaomi Guo Ba. Minute Crisp. It's just like chips. Now let me try. Alright, so it gets through like this. Very cute. Mm, yes, just like chips. Sorry, I just can't not stop. It's really, really delicious. I pretty like it. Next one, Xiao Xiao Su. Xiao Xiao Su. So it's one kind of popping food. All right, so yes, a cute little Xiao Xiao Su. Mm. Pretty good. I bet you will like it. I like it. Next one, Liu Liu Mei. Liu Liu Mei. It is made of plum. It's very, very sour. But I like it. I like sour and spicy food. So, yes. Liu Liu Mei is one of my favorites. This one, Liu Liu Mei. Okay, so look at it. Mm. Very sour and a little sweet. Alright, so this one, Wang Wang Xian Bei, Wang Wang Xian Bei. It is also one kind of popping food. And when I was very young, I pretty, pretty like this. Okay, so, Wang Wang Xian Bei. It's a little salty, but very, very delicious. Amazing food. Okay, one of my favorite snacks again. Next one, Wang Zai Xiao Man Tou. 
crunch rice balls. Very cute, this one. Little rice balls, crunch rice balls. It's very sweet, mm, but actually, I don't really like it. QQ mm. Tang. QQ Tang, QQ Gummy Candies. Alright, so look. Very soft. Mm. That's great. Sweet and a little sour. I think girls will like it. Okay, the last one, yu doufu, yu doufu, fish with bean curd. You have to try this. It's really, really great. Alright, so this one is a little spicy. It's just like tofu. Mmm. Very delicious. Alright, now please leave a comment. Let me know what Chinese snacks do you want to try. Please leave a comment. Leave a comment. And okay, it is today's Chinese class. If you want to know more Chinese culture or more Chinese food, please Leave a comment, let me know. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye bye. Hi, everybody. My name is Wu Rui. Welcome to the 2000 Core Chinese Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice, and review what you learned. Okay, let's get started. First is 感染. Infection. 感染. 感染. Infection. 皮肤感染. Skin infection. 皮肤感染. 流感. Flu. 流感. 流感. Flu. 流感季节. Flu season. 流感季节. 小号. Trumpet. 小号. 小号. Trumpet. 铜管小号. Brass trumpet. 铜管小号 登机口 Departure gate 登机口 登机口 Departure gate 四十三号 登机口 Departure gate 43 四十三号 登机口 社会学 Sociology 社会学, 社会学 Sociology 社会学研究, Study of Sociology 社会学研究 空中服务人员, Flight attendant 空中服务人员空中服务人员 Flight attendant 女空中服务人员 Female flight attendant 女空中服务人员 座位 Seat 座位, 座位, seat. 
飞机座位 ，airplane seat， 飞机座位，医学 ，medicine， 医学，医学 ，medicine， 医学领域 ，field of medicine。医学领域，经济舱 ，economy class， 经济舱，经济舱 ，economy class， 经济舱座位 ，economy class seats， 经济舱座位，航班。Flight, 航班，航班 ，flight， 航班的登机牌 ，boarding pass for the flight， 航班的登机牌。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. First, you will hear a word or phrase in English. Respond in Chinese, then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say infection? 感染感染 And how to say flu? 流感流感 What about trumpet? 小号，小号。Do you remember how to say departure gate? 登机口，登机口。Let's try sociology. 社会学，社会学。What about flight attendant? 空中服务人员，空中服务人员。Now let's see if you remember how to say seat. 座位。座位 Another one. What about medicine? 医学医学 Do you remember how to say economy class? 经济舱经济舱 And finally. Do you remember how to say flight? 航班，航班。We're done. See you next time. 再见。When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So, how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number one, focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible, and we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. 
Most learners have had the experience of using a phrase book or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances and vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. And then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. For example, you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello, I'm Cui Chen.
。这节课向大家介绍的是春节。春节是中国最重要的节日，每年阴历的最后一晚叫做除夕或大年三十阴历的新年第一天叫做正月初一。正月初一开始到正月十五的元宵节，每一天都有不一样的讲究和过法。下面让我们来一起学习一下吧。你知道在春节里最忌讳的事情是什么吗？我会在这个视频的结尾告诉大家答案哦。在除夕夜到来之前，有很多事情要布置妥当，首当其冲的就是扫房这项家庭活动。中国人相信，新的一年要有新气象。所以要把全家上上下下、里里外外全都打扫干净，把过去一年的坏运气都扫掉。等房间清扫完毕，人们会把春联贴在门上、窗户上，一片红火，非常喜庆。在除夕夜，中国人普遍都会打开电视，观看一场长达五个小时的节目，俗称春晚。春晚不但有歌舞、魔术表演。还有相声、小品等独具中国特色的节目。据统计，刚刚过去的蛇年春晚平均收视率高达 31% 将近一半的中国人收看了这个节目。如此高的收视率，让明星们都挤破头，想在这个舞台上争取到演出机会。小孩子最盼望的就是得到压岁钱了。压岁钱一般叫做红包，因为长辈一般会把人民币放在红色的信封里作为礼物送出。随着中国人收入水平的提高，小孩子的红包也越来越厚，少则几千，多则上万。但也不用太羡慕他们，大部分情况下，这些红包很快就会被家长收走，用于家庭支出了。不过，对于年轻人来说，春节也是充满压力的节日。在饭桌上，经常会被长辈们询问，诸如“有对象了吗？在哪家公司上班？一年能挣多少？”这类有些令人头疼的问题。现在我来告诉你们前面问题的答案。你知道在春节里最忌讳的事情是什么吗？春节的时候，不可以说任何不吉利的话。比如，筷子掉到地上，不可以说啊掉了。人们迷信，也许新一年的好运气也随之掉了。这节课你觉得怎么样？你有学到很多有趣的东西吗？在你的国家，也有在特定节日不许说一些话的禁忌吗？请在 Chinese Class One O One com 给我们留言吧。那我们下一节课再见。Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Chinese ebook before it's gone.